But this shouldn't be happening to anyone. No one should have to go through losing a parent and not being able to go back to their country because of a status. We're gonna go see my mom. And I haven't seen her in 10 years, so I'm really excited to finally go see her after so long. I think she feels very alone. She's very close to her kids and I feel that to not be able to be physically with her kids as when they were young has been very difficult for her. I feel like she still sees us like her little kids and she still wants to take care of us and look after us. The only way she can do it right now is by calling because she can't literally cross over and come see us physically. Mi princesita Sara es un regalo de Dios. Ahora tengo dos regalitos. La bebecita que viene por el camino. Mi deseo en mi corazón es que mis hijos no sufran tanto, pues. Aquí en México a veces uno sufre más porque casi no hay trabajo. We came, right? And it could have been easy for us to just come back, but she didn't want to come back because she knows how difficult it is to live here in Mexico. But in October of 2012, I applied for DACA so I can work wherever I wanted now. But it was still not enough. With the documentation that I had, I still couldn't leave the country to see my mom. <laughs> Even though it was almost 11 years that I hadn't seen my mom, there's people that go their whole life without seeing their parents because they never have a solution to their immigration status because of the system that we have currently in the United States. Now I can think about it more like my mom just lives a couple hours away and I can go visit her whenever I want now. And so many people, good people, that could be doing the same can.